booger man come up on me and I was shaking. I didn't know what to do. Storytelling um, for Cherokee people, we didn't have a written form of our own language until 18, 1821 when Sequoia created our written syllabary. Um, prior to contact with Europeans though, even further back, we were still keeping track of our history, but there was no written form of it. And so for us as Cherokee people, we kept track of our history through an oral tradition. Our history was oral. So our storytellers at one time were like our historians. Um, today it's mostly for entertainment purposes. You know, we come, we entertain them, and it's still for culture, but it's, it's changed. However, for the storyteller, it is completely immersed in culture. It's who we are. Because as fast as I ran, that booger man was right behind me. I could hear him. I could hear him running fast. Well, everything that we do, you know, you, you can't do storytelling without having your language and your culture involved. You can't do culture without having your stories or your language. You can't do language without incorporating your stories and, because that's how we get lessons across to each other. You know, so, so they all kind of overstep each other, which that's fine. You know, that's the way it's supposed to be. It happens every Wednesday. So for this summer, 2018, we're going to be here every Wednesday um, in June and July. This was our first one. The only Wednesday we won't be here is the 4th of July. That's on a Wednesday this year. But we will be here other than that. Uh, those, those old ones, they used to tell me, they said, when we start losing our stories, when we start losing our language and our culture, uh, we're just another face in the crowd. We can carry that card around all day and say we're Cherokee, but unless you know the culture, then you're just another face in the crowd.